Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to check back in on our yellow flame, soft flame, butane refillable Zippo insert. I have filled it twice now. The last time I filled it for about 10 seconds and it lasted uh, over six days. So a couple more days longer than last time when I only filled it for about six seconds. This time I'm going to try to fill it for about 15 and let's just see if it lasts any longer. I did use it or strike it several times fidgeting with it just because you know it's a new lighter and I like to fiddle around with them but you can see there how the fuel is failing the fuel is waning so we will go ahead and purge what is remaining of the air that's left in the tank I think I said last time you wanted to purge it to get the um, all the butane out but it's not really the butane that you're trying to get out it's the excess air that will cause a problem over time if you do not purge this inlet valve by which it accepts butane so we will simply turn the insert upside down and take what we use is this dab tool which I told you last week works well enough as a screwdriver on one end and then has the narrow pointed end that you would normally scoop up your product to dab you want to insert that right there in the center of the inlet valve and just press it and you can hear the remaining gas pressure air whatever it is it is in that tank releasing through the valve and once you no longer hear any sound or feel any air escaping then it should be ready to refuel now if you are doing a refill on a butane lighter that has a adjustment for the size of the flame then you typically want to turn it all the way down before you pump it full of butane but with the Zippo insert there is no adjustment so you simply hold the insert upside down hold your can of compressed butane upside down place the nozzle directly onto the inlet valve and then you're just going to press and like I said I did it six seconds the first time ten the last time and this time we will try and see how about 15 seconds goes so here we go there's about 15 seconds and you can see that there was definitely some spilling out of there but I think just by the way that that butane nozzle works there's always some that spills out you can feel that the insert itself has gotten rather cold and the instructions for the insert said to leave it set for two minutes before you attempt to strike it again so we'll let that set there momentarily I've been using this for the last week in this vintage look 2021 no slashes lighter this has become one of my favorite simply because it's got some extra 
space, or at least it feels that way by these sharp angles that you have on the lid. Feels like it's a little bit easier to manipulate, to open, and to close it. Although I did have a little bit of adjustment this past week using it because I had become so accustomed to feeling this etched all around leaf zippo in my hand. So this lighter case provides really good purchase as well as far as your fingers. It's not slick. It's a pretty good lighter, a pretty good design. The embellishment in the etched paint design adorning the lighter actually makes it a little bit easier to manipulate the lid open and close to keep the lighter in your hand sort of like um, gives you traction on your fingers so it may find its way back in there I may end up having to find a brand new version of this lighter to keep in my collection because I keep wanting to use this one even though it is taking some damage and I really don't want to damage it any further still a really nice lighter that I like to use so the vintage look case will readily accept this filled refilled Zippo butane soft yellow flame insert it has the file wheel sparking mechanism as opposed to the piezo that their previous efforts had used and it has me also now really wanting to try out the pipe version of this soft yellow flame butane refillable zippo insert but you can see that the lighter itself is taken on plenty of scuff scratches as i've had it in my pocket and definitely been used and definitely has wear but it's all right that's uh that's what they were made for was to be used and just like the lighter that has my initials on it that was given to me by gavin lannon well, i guess it's been probably over a year ago now to me the wear on these lighters that you use it just adds character and we see that the refilled butane insert fired right back up on the first strike. And I will definitely do my best not to fidget with it, fiddle around with it, and strike it as often as I have on the last two refills. And let's just see if maybe we can get a whole week out of it. I am recording this on Thursday. And we'll just see if we can make it all the way to next Thursday. Still a huge fan. I have had a comment or two beneath the YouTube videos for this lighter that have complained about this insert. But thus far, I don't have any. Somebody in the live stream this week had the same complaint as j Row Lights had last week. That he felt like the button was a little bit narrow and could be a little less clunky if it was maybe a little bit wider. And that might be so. But even considering that, it's not a difficult lighter to actuate. Until next time.